Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Queen Ink. Today on Granny Saturday, we are going to be making this spring granny square. Now I came up with this pattern a few minutes ago and I'd like to share it with you. So if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to scroll down, hit that like button so I know that you're enjoying this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and others I will do in the future. So let's get into making this beautiful spring granny square. Alrighty, so the tools that you're going to need to make your spring granny square are as follows. You're going to need a needle with a large eye hole to sew in your strings. Today we're going to be using a different size crochet hook. Today we're going to be using a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Normally I use a 5.5, but today I decided to use something a little bigger. And of course you're also going to need a pair of scissors. And then the yarn we're going to be using today is going to be Red Heart Super Saver, 7 ounces, 364 yards. And this one is going to be in the color bright yellow. You're not going to need very much of this. The next color you're going to need is called Mainstays. It's 100% acrylic yarn. This one is in the color pink. And this one is 397 yards and 7 ounces. The next one you're going to need is also Mainstays as well. This one is actually called Sparkle Acrylic Yarn. And it's very sparkly and pretty. I thought it'd be great for this spring granny square. And this one is called Sweet Violet. And this one is 251.53 yards and five ounces. Alrighty, you can use whatever yarn that you would like. So let's get into how to make this granny square. Okay, so in order to start uh, your spring granny square, you're going to make a slip knot. Okay, and once you have your slip knot, we're going to chain four. We're going to make a circle. So you're going to yarn over and pull through, pull up a little bit so you have a little bit of slack. Yarn over and pull through two, three, and four. Now you're going to go back into that very first chain that you made from the very beginning. Put your hook into there, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop and pull right through to make a slip stitch. Move your yarn tail out of the way. Now that you've made a circle, you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet back into this circle. So you're going to put your hook into the circle, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. That's one single crochet. I'm going to put six single crochets all into this circle and I will meet you back in just a moment. All right, when you have made six single crochets into that circle, you're gonna slip stitch back into the very first stitch right here. Grab your working yarn, pull through and pull through. Now for round number two, so that was round number one. Round number two, you're gonna chain one and into every single stitch, you're gonna put two single crochets. So one single crochet and then two single crochets all into that stitch and into every single one all the way around and I will meet you back around. You should have 12 stitches by the time you are done putting two single crochets into every single stitch. Alrighty, when you have made it all the way back to the beginning, all you're gonna do is you're gonna slip stitch right into this stitch right here. Now this is not a stitch right there, that's a fake stitch. So you wanna go right into this one right here from the very beginning, yarn over and pull through and pull through. You should have 12 stitches all together. Now that was round number three. We're gonna be working on round number four. So chain one. Go back into your stitch for two single crochets. Now the pattern is gonna be a little bit different. So you're gonna put two single crochets into that first stitch, into your next stitch, one single crochet. And into the next stitch, two single crochets. And that is how the pattern will follow. Two single crochets in a one stitch, one single crochet, two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around, and I will meet you back at the other side. All right, when you have made it all the way around, you should have one more single crochet that you should work into into your very last stitch. 
and that will make 18 stitches all together. And then you're just going to slip stitch into this stitch right here, your very first one from the very beginning. Now what you're going to do for round number four is you're going to cut your yarn and we're going to be using the pink yarn now. So we use the yellow one for the middle for three rows and now for the fourth row we're going to use the pink yarn. So let me grab my pink yarn and let's get started. Alrighty, so we are back and once you have grabbed your pink yarn Go ahead and put it onto your project. We're going to tie on real quick. Now we're now in the pink. We're going to start making petals. So this is how the petals are going to go. Put your hook back into your stitch. Grab your working yarn and pull up a loop, and then chain one. Okay. So now you're going to put a half double crochet into that very first stitch. So yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. In the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. So you're going to yarn over, go into your stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Do that into that very same stitch. Into the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets as well. And into the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. Now this is how the pattern is going to follow for this round. And this will be round number four for the petals. You'll slip stitch into the next stitch. Into the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. Into the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And two. Into the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. One. And two. And into the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. And into the next stitch, you're going to put a slip stitch. Now you're going to follow this pattern for the next two petals and I will meet you back at the very beginning. Alrighty, so I'm back. I know I said I'd meet you at the end, but I forgot that there are three stitches left. So this is how the pattern is going to follow. So you're going to put a half double crochet into the next stitch. So I just put a slip stitch into this one. So into your next one, you can put a half double crochet. Into the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. One and two. Into the next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets and a half double crochet all into that one stitch. So two double crochets. Okay, then you're going to push them over and you're going to put a half double crochet right into that stitch because uh, I totally forgot, I did not have enough stitches at the end. Then you're gonna slip stitch into that very first half double crochet from the beginning of the round. And that is how you finish off round number four. Now we're gonna be working on round number five. Alrighty, so we're back for round number five. Now round number five is not gonna be the same as round number four. This one's gonna be a little different. So you're gonna chain one, and then you're going to put one half double crochet into that stitch. And then you're going to put one double crochet into the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then into your next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then into the next stitch, you're going to put a slip stitch. Now you'll repeat that, which is a half double crochet into the next stitch, four double crochets into each of the next four stitches, one, two, 
three and four. And then a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then a slip stitch right there. And you'll repeat that for the next two petals. And then I will meet you back around to this spot, this stitch right here. All right, when you have made it back around, make sure you have your purple sparkly yarn ready to go because after this we are going to cut off and we're going to work on round number six. So I just have one more half double crochet to put into this stitch and then I just got a slip stitch into the very first half double crochet I made of the round. And that will finish off round number six. Actually, give me one second. Um, actually, you're going to slip stitch right down here at the bottom. I'm very sorry about that. So right where this little hole is, you're going to slip stitch right there, not the very first stitch, because we still want to maintain these dips that are in the flowers. All right, my apologies. Now grab your scissors, cut off your pink yarn. yarn over and pull through and tighten and now we're going to be working on round number six so you're going to grab your purple yarn right here and you're going to attach it right here into this slip stitch okay then you're going to pull through pull through and you are going to tighten. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you put your hook back into that stitch, grab your working yarn, pull through and chain one. Now into that hole right there that you see, you're going to put a double crochet right into there. Okay. And into the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. Now we're going to start making what is called the square that goes all the way around this flower. Okay, so half double crochet into the next stitch, which is kind of like right there. And in the next two stitches, you're going to put a single crochet. One and two. Okay, and then into your next stitch, we're going to do the corner. So you're going to put a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all into that stitch. That will make our one corner that we have to make. We have to make four of these. And so we're going to make them on the petals. So next what you're going to do is put one single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to put a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then into this stitch right here, you're going to put a double crochet. And into the next stitch, we'll do this one more time. I'll do one more petal with you and then that should repeat the pattern and you'll know exactly how to make these corners. So we'll make one more corner together. So you're going to put a half double crochet into the next stitch. So when you get to these middle sections right here, you're going to put a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a half double crochet. And then you'll put two single crochets into the next two stitches. Into the third stitch, that is where you're going to put your corner. So put a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet all into that stitch. As you're turning that corner into your knit, into your next stitch, you're going to put one single crochet. Then you'll repeat that pattern. Half double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet, and then you'll go around and repeat what I just showed you for the first two corners. As you can see, these are the corners right here. And then you'll just make two more corners down here and I'll meet you back. Uh, one stitch before the end. Alrighty, when you have made it all the way back around, so I just made my corner right here, it looks like you don't have any more stitches, but you do. You're going to put a half double crochet into this very last stitch. Oh, I'm sorry about that. 
you're going to put a single crochet into this next stitch right here and then into where we just slip stitch at the very beginning that is where the half double crochet is going to go so you're going to put a half double crochet right into there then you will slip stitch right into that double crochet and that will finish off I believe that was round number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, round number six. Now we're gonna be working on round number seven. Round number seven is going to be very easy. We're going to be doing double crochets. So you're gonna chain one, double crochet into that very first stitch, and then double crochet into every single stitch until you get to the corner right here. So I'm gonna double crochet into every single stitch. Let me jet the corner in just a minute. Okay, when you have made it to your corner right here, you're gonna put one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet all into that, into that chain two space. Do not forget your single crochet right here. You're gonna double crochet right into it. Now all you gotta do is double crochet into every single stitch until you get to the corner. One double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. Do that all the way around for all four corners and I'll meet you back here at the very end. Alrighty, when you have made it all the way around and you have one stitch left, I'm gonna double crochet into that and then I'm gonna slip stitch into the very first double crochet that we made from the round. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my yarn and I'm gonna yarn over and pull through. And I will pull out my camera and show you what this looks like. And there you are. That is the Granny Saturday spring flower because it's coming up springtime so this is what it looks like you can make a whole bunch of these um, if you've got two of them you can make them into a bag alrighty so this is what the spring granny square looks like if you'd like to see more tutorials such as this one and others I will do in the future don't forget to scroll down and hit that that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button so I know that you like this and just to let you know this is also my very own pattern that I came up with because spring is coming up and I really like flowers so I figured this would be something really beautiful that you all would enjoy well until next time everyone bye bye and have a wonderful day